but is there anybody who wouldn't be a good match who you'd rather not do business with? People who have frontline staff, they need that. They mm-hmm. need to have them, their staff assessed, you know? Yeah, right. um, so if I was to say, okay, I only want this and I only want that, but you may have people in your, your clients or you might need somebody who could also use my services, mm-hmm. you know? So it's yeah. very, very hard to say it's only one way, one, one track. Right, right. Okay. Mm. okay. Interesting. Um, so who have you worked with, say, over the last three months that you could share with me? Um, I months? have, yeah, <clears throat> flooring. All right. Flooring, yeah. Okay. Uh, shoes, dealerships. Shoe shops, dealerships. dealerships. Shoe shops, dealerships. Okay. Uh, bookshops. Uh, who else? About? Local government. All right. A lot wow. of local government. Because they have recreation centres, they've got uh, swimming pools and, you know, they've got gyms and all that. So gyms, I've worked specifically with gyms too, so if you name anybody in gyms. Okay. Um, what else has been there? Um, I've been doing a few price comparisons, which I brought the subject up this morning at the local circle, um, okay. asking everybody, what do you know what, where you fit in? with your pricing in comparison to your competitors. Right. And suddenly I had two, three people come in and say, hey, we want to meet you. <laughs> we ah, to meet up with you. Okay. So they were all, yeah, because they don't know where they fit in. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting. So, And people wouldn't realise that, that you offer that as a service either. No, they wouldn't unless I tell them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, hence, yeah. you know, you talking about it this morning and it coming up and, yeah, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Getting because I, I, I did a few. I did a few. It was very, very, um, uh, it was very uh, eye-opening mm-hmm. because they found that they didn't actually, they were charging far too, you know, much less than they, their competitors so they could actually... Wow increase it by one of them increased it by 30 percent so for them this year it's an increase of thirty thousand dollars yeah right you know so wow. my cost really was absolutely nothing <laughs> yes. in comparison to what they could yeah right yeah, charge okay. and and speaking of charging so you scope out each project or you have a range of product products services you package it how do, how do you work I, yeah i have a package yeah they're okay. different packages depends on how many uh, visits that have to be done okay uh, you know i, I can't can't have the packages are they there are three different packages with a low barrier entry one is a low barrier entry and there's three packages and of course um the packages are designed so that yes you have probably product one, product two, product three, and then package two will be product four, product five, product six, package, okay. the next package will be a premium package, yeah, right. that probably could last for a whole year, but they, they split, you know. Yeah. Um, well done. Yeah. That's very clever. You know, I talk to a lot of business because of what I do, right, you know, mm. clients come to me, they need a website, or they've already got one that's not performing, so, and, and I guide them and coach them and help them with marketing. And, and one of the biggest things I find business owners do and don't do, they sort of have packages, but they haven't framed the package quite often. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'll do this, that and the other. And they haven't given the package a name. They haven't framed it. You know, it's not a, a, a viable thing almost. They're, they're winging it. And uh, mm. by packaging, gives a lot of clarity for the consumer, for, for your cl- our yep. clients. You know, there's yep. a lot of clarity. Well, you can, we can do th- work with you this way, this way or this way. A lot of clarity. Make a decision based on either your needs or your budget. So um, correct. Well That's correct. Yeah. I mean, coming to 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 see a, a new client, they might just hesitate to say go for package three, which involves everything. You know. Yeah. Um, they probably want what I call my initial query snoop package. <laughs> yeah. Right. right. Okay. Okay. Um, they might come in at a very very low cost and just to try and see what what's going on and what it's all about and how i work and then they might say okay let's go for the next one or they might not whatever way it is yeah so so your your basic snoop package is there a fixed rate for that or is it dependent on industry or or is it variable it's a basic basic one okay and and so how much is that do you not mind 80 bucks 
Shady bucks. Oh my god, that's like a no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, I had no idea. Yeah. So, bearing in mind that with the other packages, there's a lot of uh, comparisons done. There's mm. a lot of um, uh, it's big reports, detailed oh, reports. I, I can whereas, imagine. Yeah, so the, the, the small, this que initial query snoot package is basically, it's very basic, yeah. um, basic questions, no comparisons because the charts and the reports take like hours to do. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, I can yeah. imagine. But it's a great low barrier entry product. Yep. That yep. is just like, it literally is a no-brainer. Um, yeah, correct. Point. Yeah. And I yeah. understand that you wouldn't be getting a lot for the money, but the point is that it gets people to do business with you. And why wouldn't you spend that to get some feedback? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. You have a fantastic website. Thank you. Well, you should anyway. <laughs> you would hope so, but it hasn't hasn't always been that way. The ironic, <laughs> the ironic thing is like the mechanic's car, right? It's always the last one to get worked on. Having said that, we've actually invested a fair bit of time over the last six to nine months in getting it right up to speed. And I think that's where a lot of people go wrong is, you know, a, web a website does multiple things and, and most people think of it as a marketing, yet they actually totally blow it. They, they literally have an online brochure. You know, they don't really connect or engage. Um, so that's one aspect. The other thing is function, pure function in the business. Yeah. You know, so yeah. I've got a pretty impressive onboarding process. So I've got a client insights form. It's on my website. So it's secure. So a client can fill in their details, credit card included, all of that. And then they get a, a success message. Hey, welcome aboard. We hope you're as excited as we are, yada, yada, whatever. So it gives a really good user experience. But it's a functional form. You know, mm. I've got a project mm. insights form. So when somebody's interested in doing business with me, I send them a link to this form. So tell us a little bit more about your business so I can help to uh, drill down and, and, you know, offer um, better advice, basically being on the front foot. And so that form helps to qualify them. So it's doing two, two things, it's getting their core details. It's making them think about why we should be talking, um, mm. you know, questions that, you know, they might not otherwise think of. And, uh, and it's qualifying them. So mm. they're more confident in doing business with us simply because the form guides them along that path. So it does mm. a, a function, but it's also a part of your sales process because it's no longer marketing because yeah. you've already got them there, but now it's part of the sales qualifying process. Does that make Correct. sense? And, yes, and so the people true. don't yet that you can add all these extra, uh, we, we call it website bling, um, to your website to make it so much more powerful. So, um, but yeah, thanks for the compliment. 